On May 14, 2021, China became one of the only three nations to land a rover on Mars, after the United States and Russia. Also, as the Soviet lander failed shortly after landing, there was understandable apprehension among the Chinese scientists, as this mission would make China one of the only two nations to have successfully landed on the Red Planet. There was so much excitement among the Chinese scientists as they make this accomplishment for their nation and the entire human race. On the 23rd of July, 2020, the Tianwen mission took off from the Wenchang spacecraft launch site in Hainan province, China. Named after the ancient Chinese god of fire, Zhurong, China sent the rover to Mars in order to get familiar with the Martian surface so that they can plan future missions more carefully. It traveled millions of kilometers away from Earth all the way to Mars and took the first picture of the red planet on February 5th, 2021. And after just five days, it entered orbit around Mars. After nearly three months in orbit, the Martian lander Tianwen was headed towards Itoki Plantation for landing. The Chinese team chose that area for landing for two reasons. Number one is to ensure safe landing on their planet because that area is relatively flat. And number two is because of the significance of the area for research potential. There is evidence pointing to the fact that this area was an ocean a long time ago. Also, remote sensing by satellites indicates that there are significant stores of ice underneath the surface. This lander slows down initially using friction with the air and then deploys a parachute to further slow it down. And finally, it uses thrusters to slow it down to a velocity at which it could land safely. This six-wheeled rover is powered by four solar panels. It weighs 240 kilograms and has a height of 1.85 meters tall. Almost as tall as an adult human being. The current objectives of this rover are to study the topography and the geography of the local area, to examine the soil and any ice content, to survey the elements, minerals and the rocks, and to carry out some atmospheric sampling. While NASA is way ahead, this Chinese project is relatively advanced compared to NASA's early stages. The current rover is similar to NASA's Opportunity and Spirit rovers, which are pretty large, heavy and packed with instruments. This rover comes with a multi-spectrum camera, a navigation and topography camera, a ground penetrating radar, a Mars surface magnetic field detector, a Mars climate station, and a Mars surface compound detector. China is catching up pretty quickly with NASA, and that is probably because of their current political system which allows it to make longer term decisions. Whereas in the United States, with every change in government, there comes with it a change in priorities and thus a change in funding. The Zurong is expected to operate for about 3 months on the Red Planet, or 90 souls. If the highly autonomous machine works well, it will become the world's fifth operational Mars rover, following the previous four from the United States. And there you have it! 
If you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons to support this channel. And see you next time. Have a good one.